In a world full of Photoshop, filters, and computer graphics, how are we supposed to believe anything that we see? And even when we meet people face to face, there's a lot of times they have some secret hidden motives that go behind our backs. This really makes us question, how can we trust anything in the world? Well, we have to understand that God's character is trust. Through the whole Bible, God is always shown that he is trustworthy and faithful. There is nothing he's done that has brought people any sort of distrust or broken that relationship at all. God is the one who forms covenants with us, and his covenants have never been broken, even when people themselves step away and just do whatever they want. God is always faithful and always trustworthy. It says this in Hebrews 13, 8, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Since God's character is holiness and goodness, that means that he is trust. That no matter what's happening in our life, our God's character will not change, but will remain the same. In the Old Testament, New Testament, and even today in our world, people who worship other gods have challenges because those gods have minds that can change. It's really disheartening and challenging to have any sort of belief when everything around you is shifting and changing. Even atheists who don't believe in any god, they trust the world around them. But every day it's different. So how are you supposed to build a strong foundation in your life when everything is shifting and changing? That's why the very character of God of being trust is so vital for our lives and for our future. This is the thing that we can rest our marriages on. This is what we rest our future on. This is what we rest our friendship and relationships on. This aspect of trust. Because when we're getting filled of God's character into our lives, we become more trustworthy people ourselves. It says in Hebrews 6, 16 through 18, Now when people take an oath, they call on someone greater than themselves to hold on to it. And without any question, that oath is binding. God also bound himself with an oath so that those who received the promise could be perfectly sure that he would never change his mind. So God has given both his promise and his oath. These two things are unchangeable because it is impossible for God to lie. Therefore, we who have fled to him for refuge can have great confidence as we hold to the hope that lies before us. One great example of this in the Bible is actually with King Hezekiah. God told Hezekiah, hey, you're going to die in three days, so get everything in order. He was crying and calling out to God, God, you can't let this happen to me. And then actually what happened was God healed him. Now you may be thinking, but wasn't God lying there? What, what, what happened? I thought you said you were going to die, and I was healed. No, actually what God was doing was showing Hezekiah and showing the people of Israel that no matter what happens, that God sees the original covenants he has with them, and he wants to hold to those. He wants to bring healing. He wants to bring restoration. He wants to fulfill all the promises that he made. The actions of the people have allowed themselves to pull away from God's promise. So God is actually fulfilling his original promise by allowing Hezekiah to repent and to come closer to him. So even though in our life, we don't understand the things that's going around us, we don't understand the challenges, we don't understand the pain or the difficulties, it doesn't mean God has not abandoned his promise. God still has his promise for us. And the evil spirits that we're facing want to destroy us. And that's just the reality of our life. But we have to keep in mind Psalm 117 verse 2. For his unfailing love for us is powerful, the Lord's faithfulness endures forever. Praise the Lord. God's character is that of trust. And that trust should never be shaken. That needs to be the center of our relationship with God and others. So keep heart and remember that God is trust.